Frank Miller was on Daredevil around the time I was at my most formative and most uh, impressionable age. It was it, he was just developing the cinematic style, and I was at this age where I was like craving just that thing. I was looking to be moved by by comic art and. Uh, you know, I'm coming from a world of George Perez and these other very mainstream but very stylized artists. And uh, Miller stuff was rougher and angrier. And it was uh, an emotion I wasn't used to getting from a comic book. The issue where Elektra died, 181, which is, you know, probably the best crafted issue. And also it's something that's very hard to do for us comic creators today, which is really uh, keep the element of surprise. Then you, we were just turning the page, and I'm like, "Oh, it's oh my God, she's dead!" And I care, you know, and and uh, and she's really dead. So it was, and it was violent, and it was uh, it was disturbing, and and I, I remember being shocked. I mean, we'll just throw it across the room, like, "Oh my God, I have to sit down." So, yeah. So that, that those were very influential, and that feeling, that Daredevil 181, is what every single comic creator of my generation aspires to do. There's not any um, process to making a comic book that's the right way to make a comic. It's, it's not screenwriting, and it's not poetry, and it's not narrative writing, and it's not pen and ink, and it's not photographs, it's not painting. It's all of these things. All of these things can make a comic. Anything that produces a sequential images that tells a story is how to make a comic. And anything you can do to visually or narratively express yourself makes a comic. So. Um, always put your character in the place they least like to be. So anytime I start an issue, I'm like, all right, where's the thing that, where, where's the place that Daredevil would le least like to be? What's the biggest fear? And that's how we started this whole um, run that we're on right now where Daredevil's been outed by the tabloids because it just seemed to me that Daredevil had been very sloppy with his secret identity. People had read the comic book over the years, even way back in Miller's years. Every time any girl made Google Eyes at, at Matt, He'd end up telling them he was Daredevil, and it was kind of to the point where it was funny, and then Kingpin found out he was Daredevil, and Foggy knew he was Daredevil, and every girl every year, you know, everyone knew he was Daredevil, and no one was really doing anything about it. Even the Kingpin was going, well, now I got him where I want him. Even though I never did anything. And the world's so much more complicated than it was in the 60s. How hard would it be to keep a secret identity? Even think about that. You know, how hard, and you can't, everything a celebrity does, and we all know those tabloid stories are true, everything they do, we find out about it. everything. There's videotape of everyone doing everything to anybody, right? So, I go, here's the story of a modern society superhero. Let's, let's really tell it and see how he deals with it. Let's see where Matt's character is. Well, what happened with that following artist is that artist became like superstar artist, and then it got into this weird area where the artist had totally taken over every aspect of the creation of the comic and everything was big double page spreads and you know and tons of bats and flowing capes and and chains and 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 there's a, there's a great tradition in comics of the splash page you, you turn the page and boom there's the shot and then it became every page was the boom there's a shot boom there's a shot boom the, and there's no story it was just and no matter how great the drawing is if the comic is only about that drawing it's a very shallow experience. You know, I, I was actually working at a comic book store uh, during this period. I was in college and, and I was working at a comic book store and people come up and not remember if they bought a, a particular issue. And it was like $5 an issue and they'd be like, uh, did I buy this? I'm like, wow, if I took $5, I didn't even slap you, you'd remember. You know, so, I, and I'm involved. Well, they're not having any kind of experience. They're not, you know, not a real experience. What we're in now is very writer, um, oriented and what, what, what you get there is from the most basic level the um, what's attracting to the comic book is an idea or a series of ideas and that's so much more captivating than, than, than a pinup.